So immediately we have healing family issues. We have very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So maybe a lot of you, I feel this is an energy of you diving into something that you're passionate about. Um, there are things that need to be decided. So you're still using the space for healing. And maybe this is the main reason the door is still open, right? Because we still have to make clear decisions. We still are in a space of looking at ourselves, putting things in perspective, asking the whys. Um, you know, here it, it is safe for you to love. We don't feel safe, but sometimes old energies can feel comfortable. It's, it, it reminds us of something or it allows us to connect to a part of us that has some comfort. But I feel, yeah, some harmony. But I feel this needs to be um, dealt with. So let's see what else we've got for Gemini and love. So patience, yeah. This is going to require a tempering. I think you just have to kind of resolve these emotions within yourself. Yep, ace... Ace of Swords and the Devil, uh, Gemini. I I feel like this comes out usually on a week to week with you, but with you, um, but we're gaining clarity. The purpose here is we are we're gonna have to triumph and conquer this side of ourselves that continues to to have this devil energy mirrored in our life, which is why we have this very soon, like clearly decide, right? So we have firm foundation and the emperor. Um, this is taking one, taking back your power, but I feel this could be your person's energy and you've got to be firm here. So give me more on this patience and planning. Why the temperance? Your emotions. Yep. Queen of cups and king of cups and five of cups. So there's a lot about emotions here. And I think this is where you're just resolving your emotions at this time. You guys could be dealing with the water sign. But this is a time, a period to really resolve your emotions and figure out what you want. This Ace of Swords is about gaining that clarity. Ugh, the devil again. Here we this Ace of Swords. I can't make this up, Gemini. I know, I, I think, you know, some people think these readings. I, I'm sorry, guys. It's just, you know, my readings... Uh, I embody a lot of my light work journey, you know, is about helping those get through the darker aspects of themselves. And so um, my readings are always going to be these happy dandy readings. My readings are about deep, <laughs> your soul, the depths of your soul. And, you know, you know it's, it's great work. I have to say it's great work, but you know, it's not the easiest. Nobody, you know, it, growing this channel hasn't been the easiest. You know, it, it, it triggers people, which harms my channel even more. You know, it's, I think I did a fire signs reading and immediately, the minute I posted the video, I think it was Aries, I had the first, immediately I had one dislike, not even a like. I want, what happens with the algorithm when there's one dislike the video goes flat, meaning the algorithm understands that this content is zero wanted. So I have an energy that will obviously trigger people and and then they would hurt me. You know, they would hurt my channel and they would hurt other people from getting the messages. So just be mindful. I know this is a tough energy and I'm saying this out of love, but also you guys, I'm here for a reason. So if you hurt my channel, you're just repeating more karma for yourselves. And again, this is to help. This is a, to help the evolution of, of, of our souls. And we, you know, we can't, you know, clicking that dislike. I always feel like a lot of the people who get so angry with these angry readings, it's because it feels good. It's a narcissistic trait. It feels good to, to say, I, I causing you this. Um, and this is something that I feel this person, you've had an energy around you that you had to be mindful of. So there's a lot of Ace of Swords clarity happening with this devil energy. And then also where we need to heal ourselves. Because again, if we leave that cracked, that cracked door is still open, um, it's because we have some of it within, right? You know, some of it can be dealing with the King of Wands. So 
I feel this is just an energy of you taking action, empowering your energy, empowering yourself to take ownership of your shadow, understand it, and, you know, triumph it, triumph it, saying, I know these things about myself. You know what? I'm going to make these changes because you're still about progression. I still feel, Gemini, you're in a good position, but you've got someone who doesn't, is jealous. I think it's a jealous, this is a jealous energy. King of Wands can be jealous. It could be a fire sign. You could have a jealous person or someone who just embodies very egotistical energy um, and possessive energy too. So give me more of this devil. Why the devil? Wow, the Ace of Swords, the world. Yep, there goes the strength. Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. To me, this is you conquering this devil to really change it. It's going to take time. Strength requires patience as well. You empowering your energy, working. I, like I said, you guys are working on something or really working on your stability. You're just operating at a place where even though I don't have this part, this little piece of my life figured out, this piece, no one's messing with, you know? And once you feel even your your worth, your value, when this helps increase your strength, your confidence and your self-worth and not underestimating yourself, right? To really bring about this change and triumph this devil energy that for some reason still follows you, right? Through your swords. And of course, there's a lot of remembrance of pain, probably. Um, and then maybe even fears of like, oh, I might fall into this trap again with someone else. It may not even have to be with this person. But knowing that we're not going to be, we're not going to put ourselves in this position ever again, right? Firm foundation, you know, really stabilizing two fours, um, which is being logical, having a logical approach right now. Give me one of those four pentacles. temperance so patience again there's just patience required um committing to yourself tempering yourself came on the emperor nine of cups focusing on you yep taking back your power from this five of wands you know maybe some of you is surroundings too be careful for jealous people you know you guys may just I just feel very focused on yourselves. The nine is the self and your emotions. And so it's going to create also conflict with other people because you're just busy, two of pentacles. And fight the resistance, okay, Gemini? Like, don't let this... You guys can be sensitive souls, you know, at times, even though Geminis are strong, but also, you know, you guys are the twins. So there's there's a two side to you, you know, and you guys can do both. This is why you can be this devil, but this is why you also could be this little angel, you know, like doing well. And, you know, the challenge of Gemini's is which one, which one do you operate from, right? Your higher self or your lower self. So give me more on this. What's the blockages for Gemini? Deceit. This person lied before and will again. Keep them away. You know, as much as they're going to try to sing a song or this is a deceitful person. I feel like we've been picking this up for you for some time. So let's see what guidance for you, Spirit. What guidance for Gemini right now? Emotions. Let your deepest emotions come to the surface and release them. It's okay to be emotional. When you suppress them, you will only cause pain and blocks into your body. To have a healthier energy flow, you must learn to manage your emotions and acknowledge them. I really feel this has to do with the healing, the family issues, like healing sides of you that constantly have this devil energy mirror back to you. So there's a need to clear out, it's a block, right? There's a need to clear out suppressed emotions and just kind of face it. Um, let's see what the souls of the transition is right now for you, Gemini. Because you guys obviously are undergoing some transitions. As always, we always are. But when I get readings like this, I like to dive a little deeper on the soul to get messages and guidance for that. Because there's a decision that needs to be made here. 
karmic lessons. Yeah, souls incarnate into the human experience to resolve past life experience. Work through any painful lessons and truth. I mean, and turn them into an opportunity for growth. So definitely growing, igniting your passions. And I really have been feeling you guys have been really into something that's igniting your soul to... to the re and the reason for this is to get you to move and to transition your life. That's why you're focused so much on what you're doing. So find that something or someone that speaks to your heart, like lifts your mood and sparks your creativity. If related to work, do what you love. Um, and a lot of you, I feel like, are in this position of really... Um, we do have, I want to point out, we do have passions ignited. So your your soul is ignited. Maybe really receiving a lot of compliments and stuff like that. Accolades and maybe your person sees and they want a part of it. This person just wants what you're having, but not really. Um, they're liars. These are deceitful. This is a deceitful energy. It's devil energy here. I'm jealous. Healing. More healing. So I lay in a field of many flowers and become part of the landscape. Wildflowers begin to grow between the cracks of my soul and my heart blooms in beautiful unison. So there's still healing. Clearly healing is an, a thing to do here and shifting and continue to shift. You know, something you have to be patient, temperance to continue to ground yourself here. Um, Gemini, but be careful of this person and, you know, there's a closing of yourself and uh, needing to revisit your emotions as well. So you can figure out what your decision is going to be going forward. So um, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe.